Hello. I um, am coming to you with a video to show you how I use one pattern and it was this pattern. This is just a picture that I could um, print out because the envelope is around here somewhere. It's a mess, guys. So, But this is um, Simplicity 6344. I'll write it on here so we'll know. So this, this is Simplicity 6344, and I'm actually only using View A. So I want to show you the items that I've already made using this, and then we're going to make a third um, garment today using the same pattern. We're just going to do it in a different way. So hold on a second, and I'm going to show you the items that I've already made. All right, so I actually made this three times. The first first time that I tried to make this view C. So it's just like a little tank. I don't want to I don't want to get rid of it because I love the colors and I actually have a skirt that I'm making that's going to be that color green. Um but I just want to redo the the neckline and the the arms eyes and I will do that. Um so that was my first time but I didn't give up. So I went again and I made I made the same pattern using um, Ankara and lace. I'm just putting on a hanger so I can show you guys. So this was the next time that I made the pattern. I added lace to the bottom and I cut half of the, bottom, the bodice back in half and added lace for the remainder of that. So it's lace and then half of the back is lace. I put lace up here as well. So, and I'm gonna demonstrate on when I'm doing the pattern to show you how I hacked it to see where I wanted everything. And I also made a piece of, um, like a little piece of binding to put right there just to separate it too. I thought it was great, make it a great, nice separation between the two fabrics. But this, I love this shirt and it turned out really, this happened to be the least, my least of my favorite Ankara, but when I did this, it's, is so pretty to me. So that was the first hack that I did and I, my first satisfied um, make with this same pattern. Then what we're gonna do today is I took the pattern and I created and made it a dress. You can't tell it's totally different. I did wear this already, but this dress is so comfortable. So this is the same neckline. I don't know if you can see the pleated. It's the same pleated neckline. I added to it. I added to it to make it um to color block and I added a sleeve to it. So that was the third make that I made. So today I want to make an open a vest, just an open vest that you just, you know, slide on. And I want to put a little sleeve on it. And I saw um another YouTuber and I can't think of her name. I think her real name is Elisa, but when I do the video, I'll put it up there, what her name is. I saw her when she was using a t-shirt to make a pattern and how she drew the sleeve in. So we're gonna attempt to do that as well as go over what I did to turn the shirt into a dress. I wanna show you the techniques or what I use to do that. Um, so. Let's get started. Okay. So this is the pattern that we're going to hack. And we're hacking view B. Right here. Okay. So what I did was I took the pieces, you use pattern piece two and pattern piece one 
to achieve the look that I did. So what I did was I took the pattern pieces and and I traced them. So I just, this is the back. So I laid this on my paper and I just traced around it. And then that's how I got this piece. Now for, for the dress, you can see where I add, I added pieces to it, which was wrong. What it is, what should have happened was I should have came straight down and cut up to the waist and, and kind of pivoted out. That would have made it better, but that's how I came up with the dress. I brought it in some because I was trying to make it a, just a tad bit smaller and I didn't want to use um, so much fabric, but had I left it alone and did two, I would have had enough fabric. But um, I, that was a lesson learned. But we're going to use this. This is the back piece. And, um, and we're just making a vest, but I want to add a little sleeve to the vest just like a kind of a little cap sleeve. So I'm gonna use this piece, this is the back piece. And the only thing I'm gonna do is come around a little bit shorter for my front piece. And then I just wanna, I'm gonna let them be identical. So this is a Sharpie, so I don't want this to go through. I want this to come out Maybe an inch. Let's do a half an inch. Let's see what it look like. So I'm gonna put a dot right here for half an inch. Draw, draw a line. Then we wanna make this just come out just a little bit. Let's see. We don't need a lot, just a little bit. And I'm attempting to make a, and I don't think we need that line. So what I'm gonna do is join this, the corner of my arm's eye to the end where of the line that I created and make a, just a straight line, diagonal line. So now this is gonna be the whole piece that I cut out. And I want to come down. Maybe two inches. For the, for the neckline, just, just for my front. So I'm going to do one piece for the, making a vest okay one front and this is cut on fold and two no one back and two front. So that's that's our instructions, but I want to create this neckline. So I just got my curved ruler. I know I want it to come down. I know I want to come down. And just make this more rounder. I 
All right. So that's going to be my front neckline. So I don't have these are my fabric scissors, so I got to go find some paper scissors and I'm going to cut this out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to, before I go and do that, I want to show you, I got these jeans I got from the Goodwill. They're huge. So we're going to use these jeans to make our best. I have two pair. I think we're gonna go with this pair because I'm almost, and I'm not quite, but I'm almost certain. And I may have to, because we're using the, the denim, the jeans, I may have to cut two two back pieces for the vest, but I'm, we, we'll see. But um, I wanna try to make it out of this. And then I have this shirt. These shirts, I have a bunch of these shirts that uh, were donated to me to Upcycle because the person getting rid of them had their name um, embroidered in all their shirts. So they didn't want to just donate them to, you know, I guess like Goodwill or whatever. So what I'm going to try to do with this is use this for the lining or the inside of the vest. So I'm going to take this apart, take these pair of jeans apart and cut out my pattern and I'll be back. Okay, I've cut my jeans into four pieces and I want to try and save these pockets because I have a plan for these if I can. So I got the four pieces here, the two front and two back. And then for the shirt, I just cut the, I cut the collar off and I cut the cuff off for right now, just to see um, what pieces I need for the shirt um, inside line. I mean, for the, the vest inside lining. So this was the back and I actually want to see if I can keep it as the back. So what I'm gonna do is make put right sides together. And I got everything on my table that I don't need, guys. I gotta clean this room up. So I'm gonna put the right sides together and try to bring it up some so I don't get those pockets. Cause like I said, I have a plan. I wanna make a create, a, I have a, in my mind, I wanna create a denim and leather bag. And I wanted to use those pockets for that bag. So let's see if I have enough And I'm going to have enough because um, this is a short and length in line and I'm going to cut it off just because it's a vest. I don't need all of this length because I, I don't want it to be the long vest. So I'm going to cut this off. And to take some of the width off of it to keep it from being so wide, I fold I folded this in just a little bit, Be, mainly because um, I want to say the size I cut out was a size too big, but I still need um, my seam allowance. So. That's going to work out perfect. So we're gonna cut this out for, and these are our back pieces. So 
now we have our back pieces. Let's see. I'm just gonna put a little B right here. So, I, oh no, it's the back. And now I want to cut out my, well, I guess I would've known by my neckline, but anyway. We're gonna cut out the front. take a little bit out because half an inch of this is going to be the seam allowance have our back outside pieces and our back lining pieces. My two front pieces, my two front lining pieces, my one back lining piece and my two back lining pieces. So now what I'm going to do is put right sides together and I'm going to stitch straight down a half of inch for the back piece. And Once I've done that, I will be back to show you the next steps. So I've joined my back piece. And so what I like to do is when I sew, I go down twice, like one stitch and then wrap beside it. I go down again in my mind that, um, I don't know, just reinforces it. And then to lay the stitch down, I just lay it to one side and stitch it down. So this is what it looks like on the outside. So this is the back piece. Now I'm going to take the two front pieces and join them at the top and at the side I'm gonna join, join them at the top the shoulder seam and then from here down i'm going to join them and i'm going to do the same with the front and the back put right sides together and join these as well Okay, I've sewn the sides together on both of them. And I pinned them together with the right sides facing. The right side of the outside and the right side of the inside facing each other. So now I am going to go and sew around, all the way around, and join the lining to the outside. I am, I'm actually, guys, hoping that we'll be able to wear this reversible. But right now I am going to go, I'm leaving the bottom open for now so we can turn it inside out. And I'm going to go and sew up all the way around on the side. Then I'll be back. Okay. I've clipped this just so it can be clipped together and I'm gonna go and do my top stitching. I think I'm gonna do two rows of top stitching. 
and I folded these on the inside like that and clipped them together. So I'm going to join my arms eye so I can close that as well. So the only thing that we'll have left open will be the bottom. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to close that. And then we're going to try it on. Okay, here we go. I have, I did two rows of top stitching. I think that just make it look nice. I, it should be reversible, guys, when we um, turn it over, which would be nice. I can wear it with multiple outfits. Um, but I think it's really cute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish the bottom. And all I'm going to do for the bottom is fold this under... I'm thinking an inch. Yeah, that's an inch. So we're just gonna fold this under an inch all the way around. Actually, I need more than an inch because I didn't have, um, right here, I didn't have enough and I had to use the curve of the shirt. So we're gonna go a little higher. So let's see what this is. That is an inch and a half. So what I'm gonna do is fold this an inch and a half all the way around. So I'm doing that side. That side. And then I'm just gonna fold the denim side up to match. And you want them to be even. Like I said, we want it to be able to be reversible. We didn't start well. I I would I did start off that way in my mind, but I didn't know if we were gonna be able to achieve it. So you want to make sure that the two are even, even but not passing each other. So I'm gonna do this all the way around. I'm gonna clip it, and then I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna sew. The, at the very edge all the way around and I may do the double the double stitch the two lines like I did right here but right now I'm gonna go and fold this under and sew at the edge and then we're gonna try it on and see what we're working with so because I because I did this already this is not going to fold under. So what I'm doing is folding it over. So if you don't, if your sewing machine won't, sewing machine won't go through bulky um, fabrics, you may want to do this, sew this down by hand. Mine will. Or you could be using a thinner fabric than I'm, I'm using, so just to let you know if you wanted to fold it under you would need to um just join them like they were already joined together you would have needed to fold it under and then do the top stitch but it's okay it's a learning experience this is my first reversible we're gonna still make it do what it do i just wanted to show you guys i had to, i had to resort to other measures and when you're a famous designer like we are, sometimes you have to do that. And by this being denim, it can still be reversible because that blue is just gonna look like a like a nice little edge on the blue side when I turn it over. Which is still gonna be, I feel like it's still gonna be cute. So what I am going to do, to, to do is sew the edge. I'm going to sew along the top edge and then along the bottom edge. And I may go, I may do three lines. I'm not sure. Right, right now we're going to sew along the top edge to get it sewn down. And make sure that everything is even like it should be.
And then I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna try it on and we'll be finished. All right, guys, I have the, um, I completed the vest. It is reversible, but I have a dress that I want to make for the blue and white side. So I will show you what the vest looks like on my Friday sales when I complete the dress. And thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.